Hi, my name is Amanda and I'm with Heat Seal located in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm here to show you the maintenance and cleaning of our hand wrap stations. So this process will apply to our tabletop wrappers as well as our floor model wrappers and our laundry wrappers. So there's four basic parts that um, you want to clean on these wrappers. The first part would be the base of the unit. So you can clean the base of the unit by using a disinfectant that you might have or a stainless steel cleaner. What you want to do is spray the cleaner on the rag and then wipe down the unit. The second item would be the nonstick cover. Over time, these will wear. They may discolor, they might get holes in them, they might tear at the edges. Uh, what you want to do is change these as they are worn. So that might be three weeks, it might be three months, uh, depending on um, the department that you use it in. Deli is a um, high volume typically, so they might be changing it more frequently than the meat department will, um, who doesn't use it as much. So change these as, um, as they get warm. These are very important, obviously, for the Energy Smart uh, seal plate. Um, keeping these maintained will um, obviously help increase the life of your uh, seal plate. Which brings me to the third item. The third item is the seal plate. Now whether it's on an A model unit or on um, an Energy Smart unit, um, you basically want to clean the seal plate with a disinfectant or with um, the stainless steel cleaner uh, and just remove some of the gunk that might be built up on that. The nonstick cover is actually permeable. So um, juices and things like that can obviously uh, go through the, the nonstick cover and land on your seal plate. So over time, um, what you want to do is clean off that seal plate with a disinfectant or the stainless steel cleaner. Just spray the rag and, um, and then obviously wipe down the seal plate. Now the fourth unit is the uh, cutoff rod or the hot rod. So cleaning this item will uh, greatly improve the life of the cutoff rod. Um, basically over time uh, the film and um, you know the juices from the meats and uh, you know the produce will get built up on this cutoff rod and, uh, and basically inhibit the, the cutting ability of the rod. And so what you want to do is use a degreaser. I have a foaming degreaser and also a spray degreaser. You also want to use a Scotch-Brite pad, nothing that's too rough but something that has a bit of grit to it to uh, you know basically rough up the surface. And then the uh, last item would be the paper towels. Uh, we put that underneath the rod to um, protect the rest of the unit from getting um, dirty. So what I'm going to do now is uh, change the camera angle so that you can see uh, the way that we clean our cutoff rods. So here's a flash forward uh, very quickly. Um, I've cleaned the cutoff rod, but I wanted to make sure to remind you, make sure you turn off the unit and um, that the cutoff rod is completely cooled down before you start the cleaning process. So the first thing that you want to do is basically put some paper towels underneath the cutoff rod and um, basically that's what, all that's going to do is protect the area underneath from getting all the gunk that we're going to be cleaning off. So um, I put about two layers you know or something underneath the cutoff rod um, just to protect the area underneath. So now what I'm going to do is take our degreaser. I have a foaming degreaser here as well as a spray de degreaser. And I'm going to just uh, spray the cutoff rod and let that sit for a little bit um, to basically uh, eat into the gunk that's on the rod. So now what I'm going to do, um, now that it's been sitting for a little bit of time, is I'm going to take um, my Scotch-Brite pad. And basically what I'm going to do is just kind of uh, rub it against the cutoff rod and kind of take away a little bit of that gunk. Scotch-Brite pad is not going to um, hurt the surface of the cutoff rod. So now that I've kind of rubbed it off a little bit, um, I'm just going to spray it again with this uh, spray adhesive or degreaser. And I'm going to take a, another paper towel and just wipe that off. So you can see already I've made a pretty good dent into that gunk, but it looks like I'm gonna have to do it um, another go another pass across. So I'm gonna just put another thing here 
Looks like we're soaking through a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the foaming degreaser. It seems to work a little, uh, pretty well. But you can also use your spray degreaser. I'm sure that will um, you know, work just as well. So once again, I'm just spraying it liberally and I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit so that it can absorb into that gunk and help it uh, be removed a little bit easier. So now that it's been sitting for a little bit of time, I'm gonna take my scotch bread again and just uh, continue to rub off some of the gunk. As you can see, um, a lot of that gunk has already come off. I'm sure this uh, cutoff rod is going to cut like new um, very soon. <laughs> so uh, some parts, you know, are going to be a little bit tougher than others. I'm um, obviously down in the edge is a little bit difficult, but um, you might have some um, little areas that are going to be really tough to get off. You know, work at it. Uh, if it doesn't work out, I'm sure the cutoff rod will, um, you know, do fine with everything that you've done so far. I'm just going to go one, one more time across here just to clean up uh, some of the remaining areas, um, especially, you know, underneath here. I'm going to try and get under there. Uh, as you can see, I've done a pretty good job here. The cutoff rod is looking pretty good, almost like new. So you basically just want to um, you know, wipe off the remaining machine, make sure you get a, any of the access, and uh, uh, that's about it. So um, you know, after that, you know, obviously you can turn the wrap bar back on and uh, start using it as normal. If you want more information on how to clean the cutoff rod, uh, please visit our website at www.heatsealco.com. Thanks for watching.